The Pirate Planet is the second serial of the 16th season in the British science fiction television series Doctor Who, which was first broadcast in four weekly parts on BBC One from 30 September to 21 October 1978. It forms the second serial of the Key to Time story arc. It was written by Douglas Adams, and featured some of his humour. In the serial, the tyrant Queen Zanxia Rosalind Lloyd and the captain Bruce Purchase use the hollow planet Xanak as a spaceship that surrounds smaller planets, including Calufrax, the second segment of the powerful key to time in disguise, to plunder the planet's resources that help keep Zanxia alive. Topic. Plot The key to time tracer points the Doctor and Romana to the cold and boring planet of Kalufrax, but when they arrive they find an unusual civilization that lives in perpetual prosperity. A strange band of people with mysterious powers known as the Mentiads are feared by the society, but the Doctor discovers that they are good people but with an unknown purpose. He instead fears the Captain, the planet's leader and benefactor. After meeting the captain on the bridge he learns that they are actually on a hollowed-out planet named Zanak, which has been materializing around other planets to plunder their resources. After repairing Zanak's engines, which were damaged when the planet materialized in the same place as the TARDIS, the captain plans to take Zanak to Earth. The Doctor finds the true menace controlling the captain is the ancient tyrant Queen Zanxia, disguised as the captain's nurse, who uses the resources mined from planets in an attempt to gain immortality. Despite the captain's apparent insanity, he is a calculating person who plans to destroy Zanxia. The Menshiads learn that their psychic powers are strengthened by the destruction of entire worlds beneath their feet. Throughout Zanak, the key to time locator has been giving odd signals that seem to indicate that the segment is everywhere. Once the Doctor and Romana see the captain's trophy room of planets, they conclude that Kalufrax is the segment that they are looking for. They use the TARDIS to once again disrupt Xanax materialization around Earth while the Menshiads sabotage the engines. Zanxia kills the captain when he finally turns against her. The Doctor, Romana, and the Menshiads destroy Xanax bridge and Queen Zanxia, ending the devastation caused by Xanax travels. Topic. Production The original draft for this story was extremely complex, centered on a Time Lord trapped in a giant aggression absorbing machine and several paradoxes, it had to be heavily simplified by the script editor, Anthony Reid. According to the DVD commentary, the Doctor's accident with the console early in the story was staged to explain Baker's real-life cut lip, which was due to a dog bite. The scenes in the engine room were filmed at the Berkeley Nuclear Power Station, which made many of the cast and crew rather nervous. Topic. Cast notes V. I. Delma, who played Queen Zanxia uncredited, asked for extra payment to remove her false teeth in her scenes. David Warwick later played the police commissioner in Army of Ghosts 2006 and David Garnier in the audio play The Harvest. Topic. Broadcast and reception The story was repeated on BBC One on four consecutive Thursdays from 12 July to 2 August 1979, achieving viewing figures of 2.8, 4.0, 3.3 .3 .3 and 2.9 respectively. Paul Cornell, Martin Day, and Keith Topping wrote of the serial in The Discontinuity Guide 1995. An inventive story, the pirate planet has matured into a satisfying mixture of the clever and the absurd. In The Television Companion 1998, David J. Howe and Stephen James Walker described the serial as enjoyable, especially due to Baker and Tam's performances as well as the Captain and Mr. Fibuli. However, they wrote that the other supporting characters were simply awful. In 2011, Mark Braxton of Radio Times noted a few plot holes and that the budget could not convey the scope of ideas, but he praised the performances and the story's playful tone. DVD Talks Justin Felix gave The Pirate Planet three and a half out of four stars, describing the story as quite clever and fun, but felt that it was let down by over-the-top acting. In 2010, Charlie Jane Anders of io9 listed the cliffhanger of the third episode as one of the best cliffhangers in Doctor Who history. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Commercial releases. Topic: In print. This is one of five Doctor Who serials that were never novelized by Target Books the others being City of Death, Sharda, Resurrection of the Daleks, and Revelation of the Daleks, in this case because they were unable to come to an agreement with Douglas Adams that would have allowed him or another writer to adapt the script. BBC Books published a novelized version of the serial, written by James Goss, on 5 January 2017. Topic. Home media. The Pirate Planet was released on VHS on 3 April 1995. This serial, along with the rest of season 16, was released in North America as part of the Key to Time box set, and as an individually available title. On 1 October 2002, the remastered Key to Time box set was released in Region 1 on 3 March 2009. A limited edition of the Key to Time box set with additional cleanup and extras over the North American release containing this serial, was released in Region 2 on 24 September 2007. The same set though not in limited edition guise was released in Region 4 on 7 November 2007. The serial is not available separately on DVD in Regions 2 or 4. This serial was also released as part of the Doctor Who DVD files in issue 112 on 17 April 2013.